Hello PAC 457 families and welcome to the next video in our series of Scout Book Tutorials. In this video we're going to talk about how to send messages via Scout Book. Let's go ahead and jump right in. All right so I've gone ahead and logged in to scoutbook.com and navigated to my dashboard. Now just a reminder I am logged in under my account as an administrator. So some of the things that you'll see on the screen may not be visible to you in your account based on your privileges, uh, but essentially everything that you'll see today is uh, or should be available to you as a parent. To make things interesting, I'm also recording this on my phone so you can see some of the mobile functionality for, um, uh, for the event view. So I'm going to go ahead and start by showing you the list of upcoming events um, from my dashboard. I simply click on events, which is the third item in the list. Here you'll see a list of upcoming events to which you have been invited to. In this case, I'm seeing a wolf den meeting. My son's a wolf, so uh, he and I have been invited to that event. We'll see uh, pack events like the annual hayride and bonfire uh, that all pack members uh, have been invited to. I'm also seeing our monthly pack committee meetings uh, as well because as a leader of the pack, I've been invited to attend those uh, events. If I scroll down farther, I guess at any point I can click on uh, or tap on any one of these events to view more details in RSVP, but I'm going to show you another way that uh, you can view this information um, in more of a calendar form. So I've scrolled down below the list of upcoming events. I can simply hit my calendar. From here, I am seeing a, cal a nice calendar view of all of the upcoming events. Now, I'm seeing, uh, and as you can see as I scroll down here, each of these different colored bars represents a, a different event, and the different colors represent which calendar it appears on. So green for the uh, pack, gray for the bear den, orange for our tigers, yellow for uh, weebelows, um, uh, red for wolf, blue for uh, our arrow of light, and then our lions are a lighter yellow color. Um, I can choose to turn on or off any of these uh, events by simply scrolling up and clicking on the gear icon. I believe by default you'll be able to view uh, the pack calendar as well as your scout's den calendar as well. But if you wanted to add more, simply come in here and then anything where there's a checkbox next to it uh, or check next to it represents a calendar that is currently being viewed. If I wanted to turn off, say, my Bear Den calendar, I can click on that, uh, hit set, and then as the page updates, you'll see down here, um, the Bear Den has been removed from my list of, of calendars. I can always add it back in by coming back in, hitting the gear icon, hitting Bear Den, and hitting set. And that'll add it back in. Uh, I can also continue to scroll down here and it will give me another view of upcoming events that I'm um, invited to attend. So let's go ahead and say, uh, or let's go ahead and take a look into one of the upcoming events. Let's go into our annual hayride and bonfire. So in this view, you'll be able to see here um, the date and time of the event, where it is, uh, will always include an uh, address for you so that you can quickly find it. It's also going to give you a uh, current weather forecast. Uh, and this is really for today and the upcoming uh, seven days. It's currently raining right now. I'm recording this in my car, so you may, uh, uh, may hear that in the background <laughs> um, as Hurricane Florence uh, makes its way up here into the Pittsburgh area. Below uh, that, you'll also see our list of invitees. You're going to see parents listed first, and then you'll see the scouts listed below here. Um, so anywhere you see a green check mark represents that uh, that individual has RSVP'd that they will be attending. A question mark, blue question mark, represents that uh, they either haven't responded yet or are a maybe for attending. And then a red X represents somebody who has RSVP'd that they cannot attend. We'll cover how to RSVP in just a second. 
Uh, as we scroll down below the list of invitees, you'll see some additional details about the event. And then you'll also see any additional comments uh, that uh, the pack or members of the pack have left. So in terms of RSVPing for the event, simply find your scout and your, uh, your name as the parent and your name as the scout and tap on them or click on them. And that will then show you the option to RSVP yes, no, or maybe. Clicking maybe will turn uh, back to a question mark. Clicking yes will change the RSVP to a yes. If you intend on inviting additional people, other members of your family, you know, we certainly encourage that, but we'd like to have an accurate count. So let's say, for example, that my uh, daughter and my wife intended on coming to the annual hayride and bonfire. I would scroll down here to our comments section, find where my picture and name appear, and then just go ahead and um, and add my wife and daughter will attend oops, as well. And then just hit post comment to post uh, the comment to our RSVP. If that changes for any reason, you can always come in here and edit your response by hitting edit uh, or deleting your response by hitting delete. At that point, you have completed your RSVP. And that's it. That's all you need to know to be able to view an RSVP for events on Scoutbook. Hope this helps.